Uh, hi, uh, my name is Dr. Sadie Jones. Uh, welcome to um, my parents' home here in uh, the South Wales Valleys. So I've been locked down here with them um, for, I guess, seven weeks now. And uh, I am setting up work here in my, uh, in my parents' dining room. And um, you can see uh, I have my screen. My dad's screen is, <laughs> is back to back with mine. So it's quite cozy, but at least we have a, a separate room here where we can do um, our work. So, well, this video, is all about our new uh, Sotten Astro Art uh, competition, which we're launching as part of SOTSEF, Science and Engineering uh, Festival, which was gonna happen in Southampton in, uh, in March, but unfortunately um, has been postponed. So the event has gone totally digital and we're gonna run a um, astronomy themed um, art competition. Hence why I'm wearing my, uh, my lovely uh, space dress and have some nice stars uh, behind me. Um, so the, the competition is open to uh, everyone, well you have to be under 18 or 18 or under, um, so children and young adults uh, across the whole world can take part and uh, all you need to do is create a piece of art inspired by um, our research basically at the University of Southampton. So we, uh, the specific research we're uh, trying to engage people with is about uh, stars basically. Now stars don't actually look anything like this uh, behind me. Uh, stars are actually uh, round spherical objects. Um, I don't have a spherical object near me. Uh, <laughs> A dog, but the dog's are not spherical. Um, so, depending on your age, obviously, you can do your own research online. But we'd like you to do some art, which is about um, stars, the shape of stars, the different colours you can get, uh, the life cycle of a star. So, what colours they are when they're born, um, and how they end up. Uh, the research that we're primarily focusing on is that of the supernova group. So they're looking at stars at the very end of their lives when they do um, a supernova explosion and all the outer layers um, and inner layers of the star are sent off into space. Now a certain type of supernova called the supernova type 1A is always the same, well, approximately, uh, has the same kind of brightness profile. So, um, and that is because it's always as the result of uh, something called a white dwarf uh, star um, getting too big, basically. So if you know the amount of stuff that was there, you know the amount of stuff that exploded and you can basically make um, estimations on um, how bright it's going to be because you know the amount of energy and matter, etc. that was there. Um, so based on this kind of quite simple principle, if you then know the true brightness of something really, really far away, um, and you know the actual brightness that you measure here on the Earth with your telescope, then the only difference between those two values, the one far away and the one you measure here, is to do with the distance. So that is really important for measuring distance scales in the universe, and um, it is that kind of research into using supernova to measure distance as a standard candle that um has allowed well allowed them to get the Nobel prize because they from 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 that knowledge they realized the universe was expanding but it wasn't just expanding at a constant speed the speed was actually accelerating and to accelerate you need extra energy from somewhere and this extra bit of energy is called dark energy and that is a really uh, big mystery in physics um, well it's a big mystery full stop but there are people at the University of Southampton who are trying to figure out um, maybe not necessarily what dark, en dark energy is but um, the effect dark energy has on the universe and the speed it makes things move at which is obviously a big part of the puzzle uh, so 
I'm going to finish this little video here and then um, I will post another video up specifically about the competition and I am going to have a go at making um, my own piece of artwork.